Feels it feels great, you know. Twenty eighth fight, not fighting, not including the fights on Ultimate Fighter, but twenty um, eighth, you know, twenty eighth's a good number, and um, that's almost about how many pounds he had me by after the fight. He weighed in at one ninety five. I weighed in at one seventy three point five after the fight. Twenty two pounds. I was I was at a deficit, but you know, it ain't the size of the dog. It's the fight in the dog, and I have a lot left in me. Diego, yesterday kissed you on the nose of the weigh-ins. What was kind of your reaction to that, and did it kind of fire you up more from today? You know, I've, I've been getting asked this a lot, and I had a lot of my friends text messaging me being like, Diego, don't, just he's just trying to get in your head. He's just trying to get in your head. Just stick to your game plan. And um, I was like, honestly, you know, he did me a favor. After all the fights I've been in, the, the losses that I lost, the, the, the KO losses, you know, the, the injuries, you know, the knee injuries when Marching Hell was trying to rip my leg off and left me with a knee injury, you know, just, you know, the hand injuries, all these injuries, you know, that come with it, you know, and the brain injuries are the worst, you know, you know, getting cracked in the nose by Joe Lozon and, and breaking my nose, you know, I realized this is the sport of war, it, and, you know, so, so sportsmanship, and it, it doesn't really apply to this sport. We're warriors. We're straight up warriors. And, and you have to have in your mind's eye intention that I'm going out there to hurt this man. If you don't have it in your mind's eye to go out there and hurt that man, you're not going to go out there and hurt that man. You're going to go out there and try to, try to play points. And then you get hurt because that's what happened to me. So going into this fight, I, 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 I had a little bit of my, te my teammate rub off on me. You know, Platinum Perry rubbed off a little bit. That savage killer. And I was like, you know what? Maybe that's why God brought him on the team. Because I needed to let that savage killer, the real nightmare, back out. And after, you know, suffering knockout losses in 2017, I said, no. I said, I'm not going to shake this guy's hand anyway. This isn't about shaking hands. This isn't about showing respect. This isn't about being friends. This isn't about being the most respectful. This is about being the most vicious killer in, that you can in your mind, in your heart, in your training. And so when he kissed me on the nose, he did me a favor because I knew when I wasn't going to shake his hand that people were going to come off. Oh, Diego, look at him. He's disrespectful. Disrespectful. He didn't shake his hand. He didn't shake his opponent's hand. This is a sport after all. No, it's not a sport. This is war. This is, this is, this is fighting. And, um, you know, get it right. You know, we might be going on, on, on the sports network, but this is fighting. Diego, like, earlier today, I saw you running through the hotel around, like, midday in a sweatsuit, like, kind of psyching yourself up. Is that, is that something you always do? And was this just trying to get the... the you know, you know, it, it, it's just going with the flow of the energy. You know, I had somebody, a real wise man, come into my life. This wise man came into my life, and, and, and when we first crossed paths, he asked me, he said, Diego, why, 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 Diego, why you never become champion? And I looked at him like, man, are you really asking me this question? Are you, like, just being disrespectful, or are you, like, really asking me this question? And I said, I had to, I had to think about it, look him in the eyes and be like, okay, you know. But... He got my he got my wheel spinning. He said, he said you need to get back to the Diego, Diego the Diego of the Ultimate Fighter. He said you were hungry, you wanted that more than anything. You know you were doing the mind, the mind, the yoga, the mind. You know, out in the storm. You know that Diego. You got to get back to that. He told me, and so I thought about it. I didn't see him till the next time. Next time I saw him, he asked me, had another question for me. He said, he said, Diego, who's the greatest warrior of all time? And I said, oh, man, I'm not going to let him mess me up on this question this time because he got me last time. He really mentally wrecked me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with my, my A game on this answer. I was like, how to be David? He killed thousands, tens of thousands. How to be David? He said, no, man, it's Jesus. He win the real fight. Like, man, he got me again. But um, anyways, to make a, 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 a long story short, you know, I was getting back to me. 
me being Diego, the, you know, call me the Zen master, call me the nightmare, call me the yoga, call me whatever you want. The reason why I, I've been able to stick around so long in this sport is because I am an adaptive man. I continue to adapt. I continue to keep the mind open to, to different ways of how can I anti-age? How can I naturally, naturally, I have been natural my entire career. My body shows it. I, I, why am I around? It's because I wasn't like all those other guys that were cheating and doing, doing juice and doing human growth hormone and got big old hands and big old knees and big old foreheads. No, I, I'm, look, look, I, look, I still look young. I still look like I did when I came into this sport. It's because I have found ways, secrets. God has blessed me with secrets of the wisdoms of the universe, how to anti-age naturally. With, with diet, with nutrition, with breathing, with meditation and prayer. And so this is why I'm around. And, and, I, and this is why right now at my point in my career, I've got back to that Diego with a little bit of that Perry Savage killer on the side. And Diego, sorry, who was that wise man? Was it, was it Mike Perry? No, the, the, the wise man, the, wi <laughs> the wise man was not Mike Perry. Uh, the wise man's a good friend of mine. His name, his name is Jonas. And, and he's like, he's a come and, kind of, come and kind of go. He's from, he's from Nigeria. He's an African, an African Rasta man, but he really is a wise man. And, uh, you know, if, if he, 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 he don't even watch, he don't even watch none of this. So he won't even, he, he, he ain't even going to see this. You know, maybe someone tells him, I, I think all he got is Facebook. So maybe if he sees it on Facebook. You know, it, it, it has been. It, it has been a little difficult <clears throat> just because I was so, so hyper-focused on Craig White. And all of this happened within 10, 11 days before the fight with Craig. And me being a team captain and the real true OG, the one that, that started this, I started it. I, I opened the door to UFC, to, to Greg, to, to, to the original, original Jacksons before Cowboy was ever around. You know, I, I heard in, in an interview, Cowboy say, yeah, Diego left. Yeah, I left for two years. But when I left, I, said, I, had, a, I had a meeting with Greg. I sat down with him and I said, Greg, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to California for a couple of years. I'm, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the t team. I don't feel, you know, my heart says, you know, I didn't feel what was going on at that point. But... I never ever talked bad about him. I never ever said nothing in the public. It was just a meeting, all right? You know, I love you still, a hug, even, you know, uh, it hurt, it hurt to leave. You know, I, I still remember that, that, that feeling, you know, that, that soul tie breaking. And, um, you know, but with the whole cowboy thing, you know, I, I just was hurt because my coaches, and Winkle John and Chad Smith, are solid stand-up guys, and they, they, they really are. And, and that's why they're in my corner. I have a lot of other options, and they're in my corner. I know that, that at any point, you know, my, my fighting career could come to an end. And I choose these men to go to battle with, to go to war with, because not only do I trust them, I love them, and they're brothers to me. So yeah, I, I, I was hurt, I was emotional in the beginning of everything, but you know, at this point, you know, there's other fights for me. Cowboys got to fight Perry. It's gonna go down. You know, um, you know, I just I'm gonna watch and um, I'm gonna help 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 Perry train, be that good wisdom motivator for him because he's a little bit on the wild side. You know, he needs a little bit of you know someone that that was on the wild side that 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 realized you know the wild side you know only only gonna crash and burn eventually if you live on that wild side for too long. So you know I'm I'm looking to be that that good influence in his life and and help him get ready for his his fight with Cowboy. You mentioned the size difference tonight. Is that going to be a problem as you continue at welterweight? Will you look to go down to lightweight? Um, you know what? Um, like I've been asking for years and years, 165 would be my division. We don't have it. I I I really wish that, that it would they would in, they would put every ten pounds in the UFC because these fighters are killing themselves and hurting themselves and eventually you know it's going to catch up. 
Um, I'm, I'm very intrigued on the matchup tonight with uh, Tyron Woodley and Darren Till. Both men had a, a very extreme hard weight cut, but Tyron's 36 like me. We're both 36. At a certain age, your genetics play a part, but cutting the weight, it affects your endocrine system, your hormonal fatigue, and it, it, it affects you on so many levels. Everything's like a spider web when it comes to the human body. Your emotions, your mind, your body, your spirit, your, your nervous system, your, in, your, your, your immune system, all of this. And when you, you, you boil yourself all the water out of your body, all the water out of your brain, when your, your, your brain's like 75% water, you boiling all this water out, it, the heat affects your energy system. And um, eventually it's gonna catch up. And I like to use a, a terminology, uh, you know, when you're 25, you can go out and, and drink as much as you want, wake up in the morning, go hit the gym, no problem. But when you're 36, it don't work like that. It, 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 it catches up. And that's just the, the old age old age, you know? Some people cellularly age different than others. Me, I'm a specimen, you know? I'm like the Iceman Wim Hof, I tell you, you know? I'm like, I'm doing the, 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 the alien stuff, you know? Like, I'm breaking into like, you know, inject me with some E. coli and I'll show you, you know? <laughs> like, like straight up, like I, I, I'm looking to be a superhuman. I've been training it for 15 years since I, I watched Hicks and Gracie who was you know on, on choke and and he was in the water in, in, in out there in Japan you know and it was freezing and he didn't want to, his wife said no you're gonna get sick I said no it's the energy and everything is energy and he knew that way back then and even into his 50s he was still dominating he still was gonna get a fight into his 50s then Randy Couture on The Ultimate Fighter with his alkalinity and, and just all the little secrets that he had. And, and he had it here, you know. He refused to say, no, I'm too old. One, if That's the first step is, is saying, no, I'm not old. When, 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 you, when you flip the switch to, I'm young, put the young switch on, you, 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 the body will follow the mind, you know. And, but you got to really believe it because the subconscious mind is a different thing. If your subconscious mind is telling you something than your conscious mind, then you got you got this side fighting this side, you know. And um, I've been working at it, man. I've been working at it, and, and that's been one of my number one passions in life is anti-aging. Because I knew if I could learn how to anti-age, I could fight longer. And if I could fight longer, I have more time to get better, to fill holes in my game. And I didn't get to show you some of the holes that I filled because the guy was such a big, tall monster. But, um, you know, I've, 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 I've evolved the kick game, and um, we're going to work on, on closing the distance a little better next time. But, um, you know, i not really not really hurt. I'm not hurt right now. You know, it got me with a, an up kick to the side of the temple, but but this pit bull jaw right here, it, you know, it, it's all good. Like, it, it's nothing. I'm, I'm healthy. Uh, recently, last month, the uh, Tough uh, Season 1 got together for a, a reunion of sorts. How did that go? Uh, it was awesome. Love all those guys. The energy was, was exceptional. All these guys basically were just so happy for each other, you know, because what we all learned on that show was, you know, you might, I might have been the only one, me and Forrest, that, that got crowned the ultimate fighter, but every one of those men on that show learned how to be an ultimate fighter, an ultimate fighter of life. And every single one of those guys is, is doing good. And uh, no one is, no one is dead. No one is, you know, sick. And um, we were just all happy to, to see each other, you know, some more successful than others. But, you know, every, you know, success is in the mind. You know, success is, you know, you could be rich in a lot of ways, not just money. And um, all, all of us ultimate fighters, we're, we're rich when we, when we were hanging out with each other, happy for each other. The only one that didn't show up was Koscheck, and uh, he, he said, if you ain't gonna pay me, I ain't gonna come. So he, he decided not to make it, and it's, it wasn't fortunate. I was looking forward to seeing him. What, uh, what surprised you the most after seeing everybody? Um, you know, it, 
it was just uh, really cool to sit down with Mike Swick. He came all the way back from Thailand. He lives in Thailand now. Uh, he runs AKA Thailand. And Mike Swick's like, Diego, I tried so hard to be the last man standing. But you got me. You're the last man standing. And he gave me my props and said, you're the last man standing. I said, yes, I am. I'm the longest lasting, the last man standing. And you can put that on a Mimi. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Diego. Thanks, Thank you. Diego. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to ice my, my head. It's not that bad, but got me with an up kick. Got me with a couple of up kicks. Got some good up kicks. Thank you. <laughs>